And tonight, people are voicing their frustrations with the State Bureau of Gambling Control after the group proposed new rules that critics say would drastically change the gambling experience. Today, hundreds of concerned Californians gathered to protest the proposal, saying it could destroy their jobs and businesses. No one in the card room industry relishes confronting their regulator, right? And, you know, we wouldn't advocate for it. But it's so lethal and so disruptive to our industry and our people and our communities that we have to push back, right? We don't really have any choice. Kyle Kirkland was just one of many people who spoke out opposing the possible new rules. If the language that was presented today was implemented tomorrow, virtually every card room in the state would be out of business. The proposal would require all players at a card table to take turns serving as the dealer. Players who refuse would be barred from the game. If no one accepts the dealer position, play would stop. Kirkland explains it this way. It would be as if I went to the, if you were sitting at my bar, and I said, and the law said I have to offer you the opportunity to be my bartender. Right, as long as I offer it, that's fine. But if I have to force you every other drink to do it, if I say, hey, you got to come behind the bar and now serve this one. Right? In a very short period of time, you say, that's not the bar I'm going to go to. He calls it an extinction level change. Wednesday's protests followed a workshop held by the Bureau of Gambling Control on the proposed new rules. Now, I've been a police officer for more than 30 years and a police chief for the better part of a decade. And I'm here to tell you right now that these proposed regulations represent zero public safety issues. Plus, the card room industry brings big money and jobs to the state. In L.A. County, we generate two and a half billion dollars of economic impact, 13,000 plus jobs, right? That's a lot of people. According to the California Gaming Association, in Sacramento, those numbers are more than 1,800 jobs and over $313 million in total economic impact. Protesters expressed confusion about why these proposed rules and why now. And it's a question that we're still asking. So I reached out to the Bureau of Gambling Control to find out what they think about protesters' concerns and when the proposed rules could go into effect. They responded simply saying the Bureau has not yet initiated the formal rulemaking process for this topic.